Hey guys, OSS Phone Freak here. Today I'm going to attempt to show you how you can get almost any Mac application for free. Um, the applications that you've been trying to get for free um, have to be demos. You know, the demo programs where they're like, please input serial after a 30 day free trial. Yeah, well, this is for those programs. All right. So you're going to want to come to the piratebay.org and, and you're going to want to search Serial Box. Alrighty. Then you're going to want to click on the SE, which if you watched my other videos on how to get iLife09 for free, you know the SE stands for Cedars, and you know that uh, the more Cedars you have, the faster the downloads will be. Um, right now, it's March 22nd, the day I made my YouTube account. And I'm still making videos. So, yeah. Alright, well, since it's March and this is 2010, I'm going to click on Serial Box 03 slash 2010 plus readers. Basically, what this file contains is the Serial Box for this month. month excuse me. Basically, what a Serial Box is is essentially a box that contains a whole bunch of CD keys or serial keys. Then it comes with iSerial 2.07, which is what displays those serial keys. Also comes with Serial Seeker. I don't really use that. It's more of an application for the slower Macs out there because it's, it's a little bit faster, but this one it has a lot more features. So I use iSerial. So basically you're going to download the torrent just like any other torrent and you're going to uh, install it then you're going to open up and uh, the first time you open it up it's going to go through all that process you're going to have to click and drag it to your to your um, applications folder and like I said it also comes with a little thing called serial box it's going to be like a little uh, green cube with a skull in it Go ahead and drag that to your desktop. I don't have mine in my desktop, I have mine in my documents, but it doesn't really matter. Then when it first comes up, what you're going to want to do is you're not going to see anything. Actually, you're just going to see blank. So you're going to want to go to iSerial Reader Preferences, then click on Serial Box 2, and Install Now. Then you're going to want to find the little Serial Box that you downloaded. Uh, this is what I was talking about here with the, the green box with the skull. It's kind of weird, but whatever um, and then you're gonna open it I already have mine opened and it'll like wait a couple seconds and it'll open up and you'll have this whole list of applications that it has CD keys and serial keys and usernames and emails for registrations and all that good stuff for um, just as an example, I wonder what Adobe programs are in here right now. Are we got Adobe, Acrobat, Director Dreamweaver, Flash, Photoshop. Let's do Photoshop. Alright, it tells you where to download it. And if you come up here to Serials, pretty easy. Click the version you have. Alright. Then basically, um, you can just basically click right here in the serial key and it'll say it's copied here I'll do it one more time just in case you missed it copied now it's copied so when you're registering the application you can paste it in and it'll do it for you so this is a great program for when you need serial keys um, I don't think there are any key generators on Mac I think most of the key generators on Windows are key loggers anyway so, yay Mac, we don't have any viruses that we know of yet. Um, so yeah, basically, if you like this video, um, please comment, rate, and subscribe. It helps a lot. Thanks.